Good morning. Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew. <laughs> Why are you so sour? Because every time I... No, just go. Go on. Clubbing. But <laughs> different parties. I went out on Sunday night to two different parties. I went to Suzanne's party uh, at the Gilded Lily, which was really fun. And uh, Sloan Mandel had a table there. He was hosting bottle service, oh, wow. freaks. He was wearing so there was Moschino. It was great. There were so many beautiful people there. And, and this is Kenny's we, party or Suzanne's this party? This is Suzanne's party. At the Suzanne's Gilded party. At the, and, at the Gilded Lily. And then after that, we, wow. we made a brief appearance at Kenny Kenny's up and down party. Now, the thing about the two different crowds at those parties is that Suzanne had all like... Because one people. would think they're the same thing. No, they're not. But they they're not. Totally, they were totally different. Suzanne had all like the really dressed up people the drag queens, and but nobody else pretty much. And then you went to uh, Kenny's party and he had all the gay boys because he was doing it with Brandon Voss and then just like a sprinkling of drag queens. So it was very two very different scenes. So in other words, Kenny's party made a fortune in Suzanne's Costco bundle. Uh, perhaps. Probably. Okay, well, um, you know, this is, okay, this is the thing. We're going to start ask, answering questions now. That but people, first, I want to talk about the party that I'm hosting. Well, no, we're for, talk, this is, and that, that's going to go into there, see? Okay. We're going to, because it's questions. People have been asking questions. Sending in our, it's, it, uh, our mailbox is filled with, with questions. Questions, cute. And um, we're going to start answering them for you, our viewers, on the pew. The mysteries and will be revealed. revealed. And today's one of the questions and today. Far less one of the questions today is what do we think of the current state of nightlife and how does it differ from nightlife of your Y O R E? Well, it, isn't it kind of hard for you to opine on the current state of nightlife when you can't go out? It is hard for me because I can't go out. But I see and I hear and I feel. And I feel a sense of bottle service, and I feel a sense of, you know, corporate sponsorship, and I feel a sense of not so much caring about fabulosity and more caring about, you know, who has money and, and things like that. Where, you know, you could not buy your way into a club in the 80s and 90s, but today I think you can. Uh, I think you could buy your way into clubs in the 80s and 90s. Um, so maybe not the clubs that we went to. Right. <laughs> I, and we did have corporate sponsorship because I remember that we had yeah, but we did companies, it in a way. Absolute, Bacardi. They all, yes. they were always sponsoring. Yes, companies. but we did it in very clever ways, and you know we. we That's was, true. Like, I remember once we did this promotion with uh, Bacardi, where we created a Clara's oh, carefree cocktail. Cl exactly, it was some kind of rum based. Clara the chicken has a cocktail that. made by Bacardi rum, and, and nobody, nobody would drink it, and nobody <laughs> would drink it. But how can you take that seriously? I mean, it's sort of it's a joke. Bacardi got what they wanted. Well. Not so, not really. But they got, they thought they got what we wanted, what they wanted, and we got what we wanted, which was their money. Now, you and their liquor, and their liquor. They give us a lot of free booze. Now, you, young man, are hosting an event. That's true. You I, are doing your own. He's his own contribution to New York nightlife. Yes, it's on Thursday night at Hotel Chantel, the Heart Beats Party. Uh, that's on Ludlow Street. Uh, we're going to. This be is a very trendy hotel. I heard Lin uh, Lindsay Lohan is there sometimes. Oh, well, else. I hope she's there on Thursday night. That'd be fun having mm. her. Uh, there's going to be a release party for XL. It will be fun. What's and, XL? Uh, a singer. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, XL. Yeah. Lord and XL. So I hope all you'll be fun. Come hang young, out, young Kiki. Big, big, big star. I'll be there, all dressed up and ready to chit chat and mingle. Now. The second question people have been asking is, um, Michael, do you have any plans on returning to nightlife? <sighs> I'm going to have to answer that question in a non-answer. And I'm going to have to answer that question in the way Madonna asked, answered the question about Lady Gaga, which is, never say never. Right now, I absolutely have no plans on returning to nightlife. I'm writing, I'm painting, I'm but what is it like to come out? I mean, it's fun. Well, okay, coming out is one thing. Coming out, are you talking about coming to a party? Yeah, like, coming to a party. Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, but I don't think that's what they're talking about. I think they're talking about returning to nightlife. Are you going to run a club or, you know, anything yeah, like that? Yeah, it's too much work and it's really... Well, not only that. It's all consuming. But none of that, I've done it. I mean, I've done it and I've done it and I've done it. 
And I think now there are other things I want to do. I want to write. I want to paint. I'm coming out with a record next week. What's in? Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing lithographs. I'm, I'm doing so many other things. I just, I don't know. I, there's no time for that right now. And I'd like to do these other things first. And then maybe if they're successful, when they're successful and they're done, then maybe, you know, who knows what's in the future. And believe me, having lived with him when he was a club promoter, if he were promoting parties again, he would not be doing any of those other things. I would not be doing any of those other things. <laughs> and I would not be doing the pew. That's and right. How, how terrible would that be for you? <laughs> and that's it for today. No, wait a minute. Yes, it is. There's an interesting drug story. You said you had an interesting drug story, and I want to hear the... It'll have to wait till the next No, I want to hear, let's hear the interesting drug story. Tell me one interesting drug story, and then we'll go. Well, in fact, somebody got kicked out of a club on Sunday night. Uh, one of the clubbers that I was hanging out with said that, and imagine this, he bought some ecstasy from somebody and yes it was like right near the entrance to the club where he did it uh, not the most discreet who did he buy the ecstasy from from a drug dealer who some random dealer at the club who so, were their names <laughs> i don't know i didn't ask for names i don't do drugs anymore you didn't recognize them i wasn't at that club oh, i got okay. kicked out of that club oh, and then okay. came right. to suzanne's party so uh so we got kicked out of the panic panic party no, he got kicked out of Cielo. Oh, oh. So he got kicked out of Cielo and came to Suzanne. So that is one of the big differences between mm. clubs of yesterday and clubs of today. That today, you cannot go to the bathroom and do drugs or have sex in the bathrooms. You can't buy drugs from a drug dealer because you will be kicked out. Mm -hmm. And uh, for better or worse, that didn't happen back in the day. Okay, so I guess that is the end of the pew. But... I want to say one thing, and that is that we didn't have time for people have been clamoring, clamoring, clamoring. They want to know about the last time I got fucked. And also, all those beautiful, beautiful girls out there want to know how I feel about them wanting to fuck me. And I'm going to answer that in an upcoming episode, if not tomorrow. So stay tuned. The Pew. Bye.